the 1000 cranes playing cards by riffle shuffle and you can pick it up in the description below from tci the card in and they send you free deck sleeves with every purchase you get so make sure to pick up yourself a deck of either these or whatever you guys want to buy i guess it's up to you but this is what we're reading today so subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when i post a new review every single wednesday you're welcome so let's get into this video right now now three sides are a wraparound design of this origami bird looks like a bunch of folded blue paper with red folded paper all around it and the last side says 1000 cranes the top is a continuation of the wraparound design and the bottom has riffle shuffle ad copy all three of the inside tuck flaps are just continuations of the wraparound design and the inside of the tuck is white so let's get into the cards first we have two origami birds the blue from the tuck box and of course the red one which should be the outside of it the back design is the same origami blue bird featured on the top and bottom with red folded paper all around it with a medium white border and the shadows on this deck do make it look really cool now for spades the placement is all standard but the pips and coloring is all different and that is because all of the reds and blacks are now the same reds and blues on the back design and tuck box and everything is completely custom from the pips to the indices and even the numbers and letters now i've just got to say it these court cards are gorgeous let me show you here are the spades the diamonds the clubs and lastly the hearts and you'll notice that all of the numbers or letters or any of the stuff in the clothes work and everything else is actually things that could actually be done like if you actually look at like let's say the queen although it looks a little bit hard to read that's actually a fold that you could do for the king that's something that you could do like these are literally folds that a piece of paper would have to make to make all these shapes that's pretty freaking cool here are your clubs hearts and diamond aces and they're basically just the same thing as what the rest of the pips are but again they are recolored and they are reshaped and the whole thing is customized so definitely a thumbs up on those three aces for me so the ace of spades says riffle shuffle playing card company and it actually has the ace of spades with two of the red ones the red birds sitting on the inside of it folded into the inside of the spade pit and then this deck also comes with a double backer which is fantastic for magic tricks and as always a riffle shuffle ad card customized to fit the deck let's take a look at it. stock and finish pharaohing and the whole nine yards now let's see if this deck can pharaoh so from top to bottom pharaohs beautifully bottom to top was a little bit more of a struggle not hard at all just not as easy as top to bottom and clearly every other card here's what the backs look like when fanned and here's what the faces look like when fanned unfortunately the sides are a little bit rough now for stock and finish this deck finish wise can literally just keep on going all day and it feels perfect I don't know what finish they used on this thing well done keep on using whatever finish this is because it is seriously just like it's beautiful it's a beautiful it's a beautiful finish and it it just feels so good in the hands for well, every time i fan or do a lapel spread or literally anything finish is on point now stock i measure stock in two ways because i don't have a caliper like magic orthodoxy so what i do is i do it in two ways how it feels in the like the thickness so the thickness goes from thin medium and thick and then on actually how it feels in the hands you have buttery middle of the line and crispy so for thickness i lean a little bit on to the thick side of it uh, i definitely have a little bit of a thicker stock than uh, your normal bicycle deck for the buttery medium of the line and crispy i lean a little bit toward buttery now that's not usually a combination you get a lot of time to have a thicker stock is a little bit more buttery now it's not crazy buttery as well it, they're it's pretty much middle of the line of both of them they just happen to lean a little bit this way and then it leans a little bit this way so i wouldn't exactly say it's a buttery deck i wouldn't exactly say it's a thick deck it just 
leans this way and leans that way. Now, if you're a magician, I would, I think you could pick this up. I think you wouldn't have a problem with picking this deck up. Like I'm a magician and I would pick this deck up. There aren't a lot of people that would say, well, I'm a magician and if the deck doesn't fit magic, then I won't buy it, right? Not many people are like that. But if you are like that, eh, I would kind of hesitate on it. But for most magicians, they could go get around this because honestly, it's not like this is a deck that's like, well, eh, like it's a really cool looking deck. And if you take a second, you can figure out what all the cards are. Sometimes a lot, especially with the courts, it's a little bit hard. You can't just like pick it up at the like drop of a dime. So it could make it a little bit harder for the spectator when trying to show them a card. But besides that, I think a magician could pick it up. I think cardists 100% should pick this up. If you're a cardist, pick this deck up. Not only does it have recolored faces, the blacks are now the blue, the reds have been changed around, the court cards look like that. Like it's, it's a whole deck based around folding paper and that's what cardistry is, right? It's card flourishes by taking paper, which is what playing cards are made out of, and folding it in weird ways, right? It's like, it's literally folding paper with folding paper. I think if you're a cardist, definitely pick this deck up. If you're a collector, I also think you should pick this deck up. One, it just freaking looks cool. What other deck is made out of, like, from Ripple Shuffle, which is already a deck company that you should be following and buying their decks because they, produ they produce awesome cards. They're not always, like, intended for cardists or magicians or collectors, but they're a collector's deck. They always are. So collectors should buy it because it's Ripple Shuffle and because it's a deck that you would want hanging on a wall like that, which is where this deck will be going. In gameplay, I probably wouldn't get this for gameplay. It's a little bit too hard to read. But if you want to pick up the 1000 Cranes playing cards, you can pick it up in the description from TCI. So thank you again to TCI for sponsoring this video and sending me this deck right here. So make sure to go and check them out in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect. Signing off. Oh, not yet. Uh, we got to make sure to put that in the deck display for our top 100 decks. So now we have a new top 100 deck, and you'll have to wait till my birthday in November to find out which ones they are going to be. So, catch you guys in the next one for the second time. Card Perfect. Signing off.